Well, uh, good afternoon, guys. Uh, I'm gonna have a little late start today. Uh, it's Monday, July the 17th, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, been to the had some errands to run this morning. Uh, but we're just getting getting started right here. Uh, Altinas has his um, cornet hooked up. He's gonna work on that this week. Uh, check some walls and stuff and whatever mine is still under a shed right there we'll uh, get to work on that sometimes uh, I went away this morning ordered a couple filters for the well I picked it up and ordered a couple other parts for the combine so uh, we're quickly gonna sling that uh, filters in here um, we decided not to service the combine like change the world because it's uh, only has 169 hours on since the last service so we're gonna run it we might go over the service a couple hours by the end of the season but um, we don't want to waste oil because after what I saw that air filters and stuff was this morning to service a combine is probably around thousand dollars and why not get the best out of that thousand dollars and run it till it's time to service it so uh, uh, we're gonna swap some things around here move some things around so Tines can get that header of his uh, under the under the shed right there so you can work on it because it's it's hot as hell it's hot as hell in here or oh, out there so. hi christian you need to put a steering wheel there my bro Drive like a normal guy. Hey, this guy is making too much money. Buy this nice truck. Nine thousand seven hundred and ninety-one miles.
So what Tina is doing now is taking this tensioner apart because this is supposed to move freely. It's supposed to move on that um, spring right in there, but it doesn't. So we need to t we need to take it loose. Um, here, right here, you can see they're supposed to move freely, and it doesn't. So uh, yeah, he is going to work on all of that. And uh, right here, you will check the gearbox oil. You will check all the bearings. Um, so this is a gearbox. This whole thing underneath here is a gearbox. And um, you will check all these bearings back in there. Check for any leaks. Any cracks. All that kind of stuff. This course. Two hundred and fifty bucks, just for our air filter. So uh, expensive. And yeah, it's a. Uh, when we get to harvest season, I'll show you all. But we have to blow this out every single day. And y'all, then y'all will see why we change them every year. Well, this one is not that dirty yet, but I don't know. It's just better to put a new air filter in every year. Let's see the difference here. old new and this is the inner I did not get an inner because we do have one but I don't think I'm gonna change this one it's pretty clean still if you can you keep this one blown out every day then dust and stuff won't get to this one it's gonna last a little longer but yeah this one can probably run another year if you really want to but let's just stick the new one in there I already paid 250 bucks for it so Folders. And this baby right here goes right there. That's a I don't know the brie the brie exhaust filter something in that line. New. Oh. 
130 dollars. Let's go. This one got a little arrow. It's a point to your left. This right here is the outer cab filter. And then the last filter. The inner pad. Goes right here. Okay, so we are back this morning. Um, Tinas is gonna work on his combine again today. I have to go spray cotton again for box and peaks again. So uh, I'm waiting for the chemical to come, then we'll go do that. Um, we weren't able to spray all the cotton since we had rain not here long ago and it feels a little wet so. Uh, I'm gonna take the foil and I'm gonna ride around see what fields I can spray so I can calculate my acres for a load I have to make and uh, we will go spray that and then this will do little by little uh, I'm gonna leave you all today with Tinas so uh, he can show you all what all he does on the header uh, not much to see where I'm spraying just that the cotton is very beautiful very very beautiful um, so I guess we got to do our best to protect it so uh, yeah that's that my brother is spraying up at McKee my dad is push hogging around the field so yeah let's get to it gonna start today with this um, corn header so I start yesterday to take all the starting to make loose all the tensioners and stuff and uh, I didn't finish it yesterday so I'm gonna do this stuff quickly today so I can soak it in diesel because all this tensioner is a little bit rusted and stuff so yeah Let's see how this job is going.
start it and run it for a little for like five minutes so it, it, all the chain set on its place and so and let let the oil run and then I'm gonna pick up the header and check all the gearbox oil and yeah let's see what happened 